All right, so resume. Uh, I don't think I torqued these again. Looking through the old videos, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on them and retorque them. to get a uh, wobble. Got a shock. The object is to shock the stud so everything will suit. I want everything to seat and move because when you torque something, when you when you when you apply pressure and you get a torque reading out of it. Everything is, of course, plain. Okay. When you torque everything, everything is under tension. Everything is under pressure. So when you torque it, everything is tweaked. To untweak it or to relax it, you need to shock it. So, um, the same goes for if you were to heat cycle it or let it sit over overnight. If you don't have that luxury, if you need to just set it and forget it, after you build the engine, you torque down everything, you hit it with a hammer, and you go to retorque it again. This is at 110 foot-pounds, and they were torqued to begin with. I just hit it with a hammer, and I'm going to redo it. Yep. That one torqued a little. I'm getting a little bit, a sixteenth of a turn to an eighth of a turn. I'm just trying to do this as smooth as I can. So you guys can see. See that? That's almost a quarter turn right there. That one too. Get a shorter extension.
suppose you guys can see that. <coughs> Last one. Right there, it's starting to turn. 110 foot pounds. Anywhere, most most of them, you're just going to get this much more of a turn. But there's two of them on here that was about almost a quarter. So. So make sure you relax the steel and go to retorque it. After you do that, that's it. You're done. You don't have to retorque. All right.